Good morning. Good morning. How are you? My name is Samantha. And again, I'm coming to you on behalf of EPIC. EPIC stands for Empowering People and Inspiring Community. And EPIC Tri-County CT is a multifaceted platform of positive media. We come to you with this positive media through our beautiful, beautiful print publication. You will find the September, October issue on the streets of Connecticut. Also in your inbox if you're a digital subscriber or in your mailbox if you subscribe for mail copy. All of this is available if you just email me at Samantha at Epic Tri County CT dot com and we'll take care of you in whatever way you need. So without Lisa, the co-publisher and co-creator of Epic Tri County CT, none of this would be possible. Lisa is always working behind the scenes taking care of things that we might not see here, except for the comment field. You're going to see Lisa through the comment field. Let her know you see her. Let her know that you're here. Tell her hello. Tell her thank you. Because without her, none of this would be possible. Uh, today we have a, a guest, a regular guest, a real staple and foundational energy of uh, Epic Tri-County CT. We're going to be talking to Bradford Tilden again about his universal white time healing classes he has coming up, but I just want to remind everybody that um, Epic Tri-County CT, we're here to be your voice. We are a magazine, a publication for the people, by the people, and none of this would be possible without you also. So if you're interested in contributing to Epic Tri-County CT, using your voice through words, through an article, submit them just send them to our email addresses our emails are everywhere um, if you have a favorite recipe or a favorite restaurant that you would like to see us featured reach out this is this magazine this publication and this tribe is is about you and for you so please 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 if you're a small business owner we have awesome advertising packages that'll help to support the mission and that's something that Bradford has been a huge part of. Since the beginning, he has contributed in so many ways, bringing his love and his light to our tribe. So I'm going to bring Bradford forward and we're going to talk about one of the many, many events that he has coming up. So give me one second. And we know it's going to work because there's our friend. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Thank you for coming back. And, and always coming through for our tribe. You know, um, I'm gonna tell our community that this morning we had a little technical snafu with scheduling, whatever. And we reached out to Bradford probably about an hour ago. And we said, hey, Brad, can you fill in? And he's like, I'll be there for you. I will be there for you, no problem. That's the kind of love and energy and commitment that Bradford brings to anything and everything he does so thank you thank you thank you um we're excited today our september october issue has bradford throughout the entire publication okay you are everywhere you have so many beautiful events coming up classes concerts can you tell us a little bit about um what you're going to be doing throughout September and October with the universal white time. Tell us about all that beautiful stuff. Yes. Um, thank you, Samantha. Um, it's always a pleasure to get that text. <laughs> and um, Wednesdays are good for me. <laughs> it's been a Wednesday. I noticed it's always been a Wednesday. Yeah. And uh, that's good. So the universe is really allowing uh, for the work to occur. Um, so what I've been, what I've, it's a lifelong journey for us to remember why we signed up to, to incarnate on earth at this time. And it's a game. And a lot of us forget the game. A lot of us don't even know, um, there's a game and, uh, it's not that they're not able to, they're just depressed in a way vibrationally and universal white time it is a wonderful tool for uh, activation for conscious expansion 
and also for um, development of uh, very special, very powerful, very strong healing abilities, uh, not just for oneself or for other people, but for the earth. And mm -hmm. it's and it also comes with a lot of information and knowledge um, that uh, is not exclusive knowledge, but it's knowledge that's it's beyond the, the esoteric mystery school knowledge. All that stuff got the, those doors opened quite a while ago with the, the New Age revolution. You know, you don't need to go into the mystery school to get the to be exposed to the, the concepts and the principles of those schools, uh, alchemy, all that stuff. Um, it's, it's out there now. But what the knowledge that white time brings is knowledge of our place, not only in the galaxy, but in the, in the universe and, and our role as a species and our responsibility to mature as a species so that we can be welcomed into uh, the, the galactic, essentially the galactic federation of light. And so white time, there's a lot of extraterrestrial information, but a lot of practical information for for people uh it is definitely newer not necessarily newer because it's a very ancient modality that is has been adapted and utilized throughout the universe since the beginning but it's new for us on earth because we weren't able to access it until only a few decades ago when our vibration collectively has risen to a particular level that we could work with it and i'm understanding that I one of my roles is to be present be visible and and share my vibration and share that knowledge with the intention that it will activate it'll activate you cellularly it will activate your DNA it will inspire you to think beyond the limits of what you thought reality was and awaken you to a, a larger role that we all play uh, in in the grand game and especially at this time as earth has chosen to rise up to a new dimension we individually and collectively have a response owe, to, owe it to ourselves to work on ourselves to raise our vibration to be able to ascend to that higher dimension with her and that's really if you look at everything white time aside that's what it's really boils down to so white time isn't exclusive samantha it is inclusive. And that's one of the things I really value about it. Because as a, uh, I, I research, I'm a, a, a healthy skeptic, if you will. Mm -hmm. I've, I've participated in and I've researched certain modalities that say this is the only way. And what you get with that is just a new age religion. You know, um, I respect people's religious beliefs. I was just having a conversation yesterday, uh, you know, about Jesus and, and uh, Mother Mary. I said, well, they're not religious people. Religions were created around them. And, and so, you know, Jesus Christ as the ascended master mm -hmm. who I work with and who uh, actually, you know, a white time healers have very strong connections with him and the other ascended masters. Um, he is just a being of love and light mm -hmm. and love and light are the two frequencies that universal white time healing utilizes the most for healing and for conscious ascension so i know that's a lot there's a lot in it it's it's these are concepts that are important for people to, to understand because if you want to participate if you want to ride the wave into the higher dimension and if you want to heal yourself oftentimes light workers incarnate with a, a to-do list you know my my videos are a bit lagging so i don't know if it's matching what i'm saying but my, i'm trying not to be blurry here <laughs> it actually kind of works right now with the conversation. Okay, so <laughs> let me just do this now. There we go. There we go. There we go. So um, it's because I'm drinking a, a juice. I love so, it. Uh, I, I'm, I'm digressing right now. We'll get back to that. But <laughs> in recent weeks, I had this feeling that um, the energies that were in the air around were like a rolling pin. And it just rolled through my energy and squeezed, squeezed out all this other stuff. And what popped out on the other side was this obsession with starting to, to juice organic vegetables. 
So I took out my juicer that had been mm -hmm. collecting dust and actually was moved to the garage for like a year. And I just, I started juicing and I haven't stopped. And this little shift is just one of the examples of these waves of, of, of ascension consciousness that you can ride. Okay. You know, instead of eating a, a dense breakfast of lower vibrational stuff, like, you know, toast, eggs, bacon. Bagel. Uh, juice right in here I've got an apple I've mm. got ginger I've got celery and I've got two heaping handfuls of kale mm. and celery and it is absolutely delicious I bet it it looks delicious and it sounds delicious and I agree that whatever it is that we do these little things that we incorporate into our daily life that help to change our vibration and raise our vibration up is going to help us to step into that um, the next level that we're being called to both individually and also inclusively, like you said, now, when you said the love and light vibration, and that's what, Oh, there was my pen universal light time works on, um, that vibration. I immediately saw like the alpha wave that encompasses this entire planet and all of us. Um, and just seeing that light vibration, just join that alpha wave and it, it's all one. I don't know why I had to share that vision with you. <laughs> Thank you. Um, it, is, it is all one. It is all one. And yeah. in, even in the dualistic three-dimensional reality, it's all one. But people get caught up in the illusion of separation. Yeah. And uh, going back to those you know, tick marks, you know, like the to-do lists, yeah. uh, we have um, what we call block. We've heard the word blockage a lot. Oh, I'm blocked. I'm blocked. Well, uh, the understanding is that uh, we actually have these blockages that are in our aura. And just they're like, uh, if we had full access here, all, uh, if we had full access of our higher self, all our past incarnations, you can vis visualize it as a, a, a pu perfectly pure white column of light coming into the crown chakra, right? Mm -hmm. But blockages are like maybe little black discs here, there, everywhere. And what they do is they 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 sh they make sh they shadow they block certain aspects or information coming from your stream of your eternal soul essence. And white time, among other things, you can have a blockage removed by stopping and sniffing a flower on the street. But it wouldn't be it would be small, but it would be uh, significant. White time removes huge blockages and that allows us to remember our purpose, our powers, and our past incarnations and, and the, our assets and still our struggles. Because if we didn't have anything to overcome in this lifetime, we'd be playing a much different role. We'd be like Amachi, the hugging saint. You know, we would have different roles, but we're here now. We have to be honest with who we are, grounded with Mother Earth, and say, wow, I've got some healing to do. Light workers such as myself and you and most people who are attracted to white time, they sign up to heal very large endemic issues uh, of, of human condition and of society. The issues of addiction, the issues of abuse, uh, the issues of uh, the victim. The victim is a big thing. Disempowerment. Mm -hmm. All of these things most of the time the person who's a light worker will be going through it and when they when they overcome it 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 shifts that whole scenario for all the other people who aren't even aware or consciously working on it it's like we're all like one person steps up a notch everyone gains um that that risen vibration and this is one reason why you know the light will win mm -hmm. because light always dispels darkness mm -hmm even though it was a very dark time and, and most some mal malevolent dark beings are, and even malevolent light beings are working to suppress the light because they want to keep control, which of course is an illusion. Right. So these are philosophical concepts that the average person is like, yes, no what? But white time, I was not lost when I was 25. I was, and I wasn't really direction. I was directionless, but I had a very strong intuitive connection with my body, uh, with what I knew to be true, which turned out to be a high uh, level of clear cognizance. But whatever it was, I, I paid attention to my dreams. And I followed the signs and white time got me. My guides got me there and I experienced the gemstone healing 
Mm -hmm. And it was such a profound thing. I made a conscious decision to dedicate my life to um, to practicing and teaching white time healing because it was what I was looking for. I was looking for something magical. I was looking something for something beyond the mundane, beyond the 3D. I knew it was out there because of these random, well, not random, but all these experiences I've had in my life up to that point that defied packaging Mm -hmm. into rational explanation. And, and I found, I found myself and bringing that knowledge and, and information and opportunity for people to, to have their version of that awakening and that connection is really why I'm, I'm spearheading the growth of the white time community here in Connecticut and, you know, by extension, New England. You know, I, I was in Portugal for several years teaching the classes there. I, I've been I've been called out to Chicago. Of course, I taught it in California when I first started and down in Arizona. So it's a growing community of like-minded practitioners who are very, very gentle in their powers and who really honor the earth and understand how what we need to do as humans to heal ourselves and the planet to, to reach this goal of this higher dimensional awareness. So this it's this modality, um, universal white time. It's in the special modality. Is it if I were to come to you, would you give me a universal white time treatment just as um, a Reiki practitioner? You would, you would uh, schedule a Reiki session. I would schedule a universal white time healing session with you. Is that correct? Yes. Thank you. Practical things. Practical matters. Good practical question. <laughs> Uh, in the first level, you do learn a, a hands-on routine, and um, if someone were to be looking, uh, you know, an onlooker, it would look very much like the Reiki, uh, the Reiki session. Yep. The the vibration, the frequency that comes through is much different than Reiki. Uh, it, it it builds for many many people who have uh, studied Reiki, practice Reiki, they view white time as something that as has built upon their foundation of Reiki. And um, so, yes, a person can come in, they can share what issues they have. Uh, The white time healer can do the hands-on routine. Uh, There's uh, lots of other possibilities as well. Um, In level one, you already can do perform distance healing. Um, And there's uh, universal vibrational symbols that Mm. you use and level one is really the foundation. It, it, it's a, it gives you a good education as to what white time is, what its possibilities are, the, the basic routine, some symbols. Most importantly, you have a total of 13 blockages removed throughout the three initiations that occur during the class, as well as other initiations by guides and angels that are just given throughout the class that equate to about 40 years of meditation. So if it's a huge spiritual upgrade in just attending the first class. And then as you go forward, and I'm specifically talking about the energy healing, in the second class you get to learn how to make light tubes uh, to put in people's bodies, uh, or you can steal the energy in, so it lasts a little over a month from one treatment, um, and some other symbols, and it just it goes on from there. Uh, level three, which I'm not certified to teach yet, but level three is by far well. Level four is pretty trippy too, but level three there's a there's a section where you heal with shapes, and there's this whole layout that you do, which I can actually perform for someone if they wanted a session, where you literally have these different colored construction paper in circles, stars, squares, triangles, and you put them on specific chakras and you stack them up and the person lays there and it is one of the most bizarre yet wonderful sensations I've ever felt. Um, it's just, but that's how ETs, that's how extraterrestrials heal. They, they have such interesting technology that we are just starting to be made aware of in the public. 
you know, there's uh, there's technology that the humanity knows that it, that would blow our minds that is being suppressed by the, you know the shadow government and all the conspiracies, but they're actually real. The problem is people like grassroots are waking up, and white time is sort of that. It's like you get to circumvent all of the um, censorship, mm -hmm. and you have direct access to valid and uh, authentic current information for the development uh, again of our species as a whole but i'm already i'm going i always go out there i'm very interested in huge like expansive concepts but practically speaking but you can use it for yourself yep. uh, once you learn it you know it's just it becomes a way of life you start to appreciate all life forms and i haven't really gotten into the gemstone and crystal healing yet but when people come for a session for me, I always include the gemstone healing. They are, they're hand in hand. The energy and the gemstones go perfectly together. Uh, the gemstone healing, of course, can be applied to massage, well, white time also, but they're, they're definitely standalone modalities, but mm -hmm. also complementary modalities. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And Mo, I know um, you have universal white time healing level one that's coming up the Red Barn in Durham in September. I believe it's September 18th and 19th and the 20th. Um, and all that information, if you're interested in um, gathering with Brad and learning universal white time healing, all the information is on our event page. It's in the print publication and always you can contact um, Brad through um, info at crystalmusichealing.com or you can visit his website crystalmusichealing.com and his phone number is in here. But my question is we have universal white time healing level one coming up in September and then a level two coming up in November. Um, maybe even before that tucked in somewhere there's something else Brad excuse me if I missed it but is there a time frame that you recommend or is it a personal decision between level one universal white time and level two? What, what, how does that, what, what do you, what's your take on that? That's a great question. Um, I'm not going to use myself as a, well, I'll use myself as an example, perhaps an extreme example. Um, but, and then I'll, yeah. So within a period of two years, I took level, I don't remember the exact order, but I took level four gemstone healing, level one and two gemstone healing, level three gemstone healing, level one uh, energy healing, I'm, I'm sorry, and then the teacher training for uh, gemstone one, two, and three. And then I took energy healing one, two, and three. And that was in a period of two years. And that was like the most radical two period, two years of my life. It was I bet. And, and, you know, or three years. And then, you know, and then my story is that and then I got really sick and there was a six month period of time in the hospital. And I would say about eight to 10 years of, of healing from the, the trauma of that, not the physical, but the emotional, mental, spiritual. Uh, and now in the last few years, I've finally surpassed where I was after that rocket ship to um, it, it, you know, advanced level. That's, that was my path. And this is still my path. And I'm more grounded and, and solid now because in the past I was like the fool in the tarot. I'm like, oh, I'll do it. You know, and then lo and behold, I did eventually fall off the cliff. But um, so I had to agree my, with my guides. We made an agreement for me to stick to a rotation. Um, I have a lot of classes, obviously, and I also developed uh, two classes um, in addition to the white time, which is called the Lemurian School of Intuitive Natural Healing. Mm. I taught them both about three or four years ago at a Unicorn Medical Farm in Enfield, and I haven't taught them since. They're going through an upgrade. Um, and so that actually includes sound healing, some introduction to sound healing, indigenous shamanism, star languages, stuff like that, because my guides and everyone really says that I, that I connect with, sound is essential. Sound is so essential to bring forth the higher dimension. Mm -hmm. um, it, 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 when you, especially with the voice, when you tone with the voice, you are, you become a multidimensional portal. Um, so that said, the energy healing courses are accumulative. You have to take level one before you take level two. The gemstone healing courses are not. They are different slices of the gemstone information. You can take them in order if you want. I 
I told, took level four first and then level one and two. Um, if I had taken level one and two, I might have lost interest because it wasn't extreme enough because I was an extremist. But luckily, level four dealt with creational vibrations and art mm -hmm. ascended angels and, you know, extraterrestrials and all that fun stuff that I needed to to get inside of me right away to keep mm -hmm. to keep my focus interested because I get bored. <laughs> but um, but in teaching, I never get bored. So, I mean, it's really up to the person as to yeah. what they want. And really, it's up to whether or not they feel a call to right. teach this. Right. I, in my understanding, uh, especially the higher levels, you, they, you actually, they, you need, it's like you're auditioning. And, and they, the white time master guides, they give you permission. Like some of the higher classes that I take with my teacher that I can't teach at, uh, the boards of knowledge, like you need to be approved to take them because the knowledge is so powerful. You need to have demonstrated integrity, responsibility, honesty, and authentically authenticity and humility in order to be approved to, to be able to work with these frequencies. So it is when you say it's special, it's special. You know, I was called the people I, I taught this class once already here, those those two people were definitely called. You know, one said, she said, I, I read the ad and I just had to come. And that's pretty much how it is. So if you're watching this or you're reading the magazine and you feel that call, that might not mean that you need to take the class now or the next offering of it, which is in October. But I'm not going to be offering the level one energy healing class again until probably February. Okay. Because I'm going to go on my rotation. Yeah. Yep. So, yep. and I'm trusting that those people who are ready to take it will, will attend. I'll have a healthy number of attendees and I'm going to start monthly white time community shares, kind of like Reiki shares, but mm -hmm. this combines the energy healing and the, the gemstone healing. I love it. Um, so I really do want to build a community here. It sounds exciting. And, and what really um, helped clarify for me was one question I had. It's not, um, you know, specific. Uh, it, it has nothing to do with religion. It, 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 you're working with all the ascended masters, correct? Whether it be Jesus the Christ or Mother Mary or Buddha, what well, it's a combination or. You actually, you're not, there's no, there's no uh, training that specifically connects with any ascended master. What I've found with people that work with white time is that these frequencies of unconditional love and, and light, they raise you up to the vibration where you are able to connect with the masters, whichever ones you've already been working with or, or, or you choose to with angels and archangels. Like, you know, they're, they all know white time out there. The ascended masters know it. They might not call it white time. I mean, it does exist in different forms on this planet. Uh, in different names but the 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 philosophy the intention is the same so i'm, I'm not saying that you're gonna come and do white time and suddenly be connected with you know a set okay. of or anything me personally in my lineage I, I work with jesus i work with saint germain i work with the, the i mean the archangels visited me when i was in in undergrad uh, my archangel michael appeared to me and handed me a, a flaming sword over my bed like fresh, first semester of freshman year um and then Raphael appeared to me as a homeless person, testing whether or not I had released my fear or not. And this was like, you know, years before white time came. So when I took white time and I connected uh, consciously, they're, they're right there. Like Archangel Uriel came to me through a crystal, right. you know? And, and so that's how I work with the, the archangels. And St. Germain would always come and tap my foot when I was doing a workshop or something, you know, when I was, in this, the phase of real learning. And it just took a lot of discernment to know who was doing what, because I feel more than I see. So I, I'm not gonna, I don't wanna promise anyone to any, you know, anything. Okay, thank anyone. you for clarifying that, yeah. At what white time does is it is it taps into your authentic design, your divine design, if you will, and it gives you the tools and resources to, to express that to its fullest through the vehicle of healing, of energy healing or gemstone healing for that matter. So I, I, would, yeah. I, I, I just had a huge sign, Brad, you said divine design and that's a book I'm reading. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Might yeah. be a sign. 
Yeah, it is a sign. Yeah. It's like, I, I, what I understand is they look for people that have uh, unique latent abilities, the guides. Yeah. And, you know, my unique latent ability, well, I think it's clairsentience, also my, my, my advanced frequency sensitivity and all my past incarnations working with crystals and gemstones. You know, we've, we've all done all of this before. I mean, we've all been somewhere where we ascended to a higher dimension, mm -hmm. different planets, different, different timelines. Mm -hmm. So it's not, it's nothing new to us. We just need to remember what, you know, what we did and, and do it a little bit differently or I better. Think, I thank you for explaining all this. Um, and as we said, I just want to remind the viewers, those that are watching now and anybody watching the replay, please look at our event page, whether it be on our website, www.epictricountyct.com. Go to the event tag in the main menu. You'll find a listing of all Bradford's um, classes and concerts that are coming up with live links to his email, live links to his website and also um, noting his phone number. So if you have any questions, you can always contact him. Um, and I recommend that you do with any questions or if you are interested in taking one or many of his classes. Also, what just came to me is just during our conversation, I have to, when we get done with this interview, I know a person I am going to reach out to just with a conversation I had yesterday I know that she's going to be interested in this universal white time healing. I know she is um, because everything that you just discussed, she touched on without even knowing she was touching on it. Um, so mm -hmm. thank you for like clarifying it for us. Thank you always, always, always for stepping up and being here and being the epic person that you are, the epic tribe, like foundational um, love and light. And... Oh, I know what I wanted to say before I do the, you know, peace out stuff. This Saturday, if you are um, not doing anything, and even if you aren't doing anything really important, this is better. You have to run down to Avant Garde down in Bradford. Bradford is going to be hosting a Sonic Alchemy concert. And I can tell you from experience, the one Sonic concert that I went to for Brett for Bad that he performed at avant-garde was absolutely life-changing um it is so peaceful yet so energizing the the atmosphere was beautiful the lighting everything the sound you guys really did a good job putting it together and i know that this saturday at avant-garde is going to be the same very professional very just you had it you got it going on you got it going on that's what it is <clears throat> So that's this Saturday from 7 to 8.30 in Branford. Go down. I, I really do highly recommend it. Again, my friend, thank you. Lisa, thanks you. We all thank you um, for stepping up and hearing the call and answering that call or that Wednesday text. Mm -hmm. For everybody watching, please know we do this for you. Okay, Epic is um, a magazine for the people, by the people. We um, love you very much. Please be safe with whatever you're doing today. Stay true to who you are in whatever you're doing today. Stay tuned till tomorrow. We have Mallory from Wellness with Mallory coming on. And as always, my friends, peace out, Epic Scouts. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Brad.